health is one of the most promising areas where robots can make a positive contribution to society. Exoskeletons have the potential to help people with disabilities in the future, and roboticists hope that they will use a combination of human and machine control. Exoskeleton technology is a relatively new concept in healthcare. My first encounter with robotic technology in the mid-2000s loved exploring its potential to change people's situation and improve their general health. For pretty much my entire professional career as a physio, I've worked with people with paralysis. So, I was born in Romania in 1994. Um, at the age of three, I had a spinal cord injury. I fell out of a third floor window that wasn't closed properly and fell onto solid concrete. Um, so I'm very lucky to even be alive, to be honest, to this day. It's important that we give wheelchair users an opportunity to stand out of their wheelchair and take steps on a regular basis. We know it will improve their quality of life and potentially their life expectancy. I've been in a wheelchair for 24 years now, so my body has changed a lot. My body isn't like the average 27-year-old out there. When I first started talking to Rome, there was a lot of question if I'd be able to handle it. Would my body be able to handle standing and walking when I haven't done it since I was a toddler? In the early days of neuroscience, the spinal cord was considered to be a messenger for the brain. We now know that it does a lot more than this, making decisions about how we walk entirely on its own. The current generations of exoskeleton, we see very low levels of autonomy from the robot. It can detect user intention at a very rudimentary level through lean and motion. What we want to see in the future is robots getting the same information that's coming into the spinal cord so that the speed of decision-making, the speed of stepping and the speed of walking can be improved. 